heaviest recorded weight that I saw was 480 pounds, but I believe that I was 500 plus at one point. Eating all the wrong stuff in all the wrong amounts. 12 packs of Mountain Dew, tons of Oreos, pizza, Chinese buffet, ice cream. Food was always a comfort. I just abused it. I completely shut down. I knew that this was my final chance, my last, last shot. The gym used to make me uncomfortable. Now I'm doing CrossFit every morning at 5 a.m. My lowest that I hit was uh, 199 pounds. I've always had a problem with my weight. I've always been the big kid in the class. I was always picked last in gym and my weight just started to spiral, get out of hand uh, right after high school. Food was always a comfort. Um, I just abused it and I was just eating all the wrong stuff in all the wrong amounts. Just drinking 12 packs of Mountain Dew, eating tons of Oreos, pizza, Chinese buffet, ice cream, you name it, and I was just eating it. I just had no knowledge of what calories or what eating all these foods was doing besides making my weight go up. Alejandro has always had um, issues with uh, his weight. You were already a little bit on the chunky side and here you were playing soccer. Look at your little belly popping out of your shirt. That, you, that didn't stop you from playing. There's that little belly. He was picked on as a child. You know, people would stare and you can hear people making comments about him. And um, as a mom, it would hurt. Every year since I can remember, um, my yearly checkups have always been, you need to lose weight, we need to consider surgery. Um, at one point, I remember the doctor actually told me if I didn't lose weight, I wasn't gonna live. So for work, I am a delivery courier and uh, I was making a delivery to a warehouse and just so happened they had a pallet scale. And just out of curiosity, I stepped on and I was shocked. I saw it was 480 pounds, but if I look back at pictures a couple months prior, I was bigger. So I believe that I was 500 plus at one point. From that day forward, I just completely changed my life. I knew that this was the time, this was my final chance, my last, last shot, knowing that I'm an adult now, this is my life, it could either end really soon or I could start taking care of myself. It was all on me. So the first month into my weight loss journey, I lost 40 pounds just by switching to strictly water and um, just clean food. I did not know what calories meant as far as now how I know that it's energy for your body. The gym used to make me uncomfortable. Now I'm doing CrossFit every morning at 5 a.m. I currently work out six to seven days a week. And uh, sometimes if I'm done early with work, I'll stop and just uh, work a specific muscle group because CrossFit is ever-changing every day with the programming. I lost 280 pounds. My lowest that I hit was uh, 199 pounds. 200, 205 pounds is where I feel healthy and where I feel like I can perform the best um, physically. Alex's transformation is amazing. It's uh, crazy to see where he's come from and he's probably our most consistent member. He's here, rain or shine, every day. There have been some days where he's the only one that's shown up because it's 40 degrees outside um, and he's still put in the work. The way Alex looks now, he looks fantastic. Seeing him from when he was bigger to now, it's like a complete 360 and I'm so proud of him. I lost 280 pounds, so I have a lot of loose skin in my gut area. Um, however, I was able to shape and sculpt my arms and my back uh, pretty tight, but in my, my gut and my thighs, I, I carry a lot of loose skin. My loose skin does not uh, currently limit anything I do. Alex has inspired me because of just watching what he's done. And they say, oh, I heard about your son's weight loss. And they're like, how, how did he do that? Who does that? And how do they, you know, not have it by doing surgery? He did it all on his own. I'm always gonna be progressing and always looking at what I can get better. I'm happy 
with my body um, aesthetically and how it looks. You just have to celebrate and see the difference, feel the difference with how your, your clothing feels, how you're feeling much better when you're waking up. You just have to celebrate all those little things.